presence. Okay. So I want to ask the worship leaders, what happened today? It's only for a, some special services like that. Okay, be ready. Okay. <laughs> so this morning I have a small word from the Lord. Again, this is, uh, I spoke a little bit on it last Sunday at the Malayalam service and I just want to tell you that the church is going through some strategic shift. In other words, uh, these shifts is actually a change of thinking. Sometimes we have a, 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 a thinking of what a church should be like. What should happen on a Sunday morning service? What should be the agenda? What should be the, the program of the church? But we need to have a change of thinking. But definitely, it should be inspired by the Holy Spirit. It's not human. It's not even from the world. It should be inspired by the Holy Spirit. And it should result in the change of behavior. How you behave, not only when you come to the church, even in your homes, even in your workplaces tomorrow. Okay, that should change in the behavior and that alone will produce great effectiveness. Effectiveness, that means you will be effective. Amit said, okay, he prayed and took the course. Okay, and he's blessed even though he's only in the first year now. I'm sure God is going to bless him. Why? Because he's going to be an effective student. He's going to be an effective son in the family. He's going to be an effective friend. He's going to be an effective brother for you. And he's going to be an effective son for the church also. So I want everyone to have a change in your thinking, inspired by the Holy Spirit. Definitely this will bring out the change in your behavior and that will make you effective in fulfilling the purposes of God for this moment of history. For this moment of history, God wants you to change your mind, or change your thinking. That's what exactly Paul said in First Corinthians, uh, um, Romans 12. What did he say? Offer your bodies as a sacrifice and then get your minds renewed so that you will understand what is God's perfect will for you. So that renewing your mind is okay, a, a changing. Okay, a change in your thinking thinking okay the way you think please change it please change it so that's what is called this shift which we need to take so number one last Sunday I said we need a power shift a power shift power is a right word okay, everybody loves the word power <laughs> but we need a shift okay from where to where from self to God maybe all these days okay we thought that I have the strength I have the power I have the wisdom. I have experiences. Sometimes we say, I have influence. Okay. No. We should actually have the power shift from self to God. And what is the key for it? Prayer. Prayer is the key for that shift. Okay. Uh, so this is very important. These days, prayerfully, let us make that shift. Let's bring that shift in our lives, in the families, and in the church. I'm so happy that uh, when the young people... They go for outreaches now. Yesterday, a bunch of our young people went for outreach. And they went to a colony, a notorious colony. That's actually one of the key gundas of Trivandrum is named after that place. I don't know how to mention that name publicly. So, such a wretched place. Our children are going and getting all the children there and uh, teaching them songs and verses. And uh, they're doing a lot of skits and plays and things like that. So, now the children are becoming friendly with our children and they are inviting, hey, can you come home and pray for my mother who is sick? Can you pray, come home and pray for... So yesterday they went and they went and they started praying. Praise the Lord for that. Okay, and they were not afraid, okay. <laughs> and uh, I was so moved by, I, I, I was heard that one of our girl went and hugged the <laughs> elderly lady who was bedridden. You saw the photo in the group, okay. So I was so happy. This girl went and prayed and hugged that lady. Praise God for that. That shows, that shows, okay, the change in behavior. The change in behavior, okay. So that's what is happening. And number two, the, there should be the shift of our priority. In our priority, we need a shift. What's your priority? Just now we heard the question, what's your priority? Okay, the priority shift is actually from in-reach to outreach. The youth was having always a nice time when they come on Saturday evening for the youth hub. They had all the, the program here. But now, okay, the program is there. At the 4 o'clock, they still 
they came here and met but before that they went outreach praise the lord so there's a change in behavior the change in behavior the youth has started going out and there was another team going to some other places yesterday the the evangelist team were going in the evening to another colony okay little far from drewandrum so like this a lot of outreaches is happening and what is the key for that evangelism the great commission is go out into the ends of the earth and preach the gospel or share the good news introduce jesus to them so that's what we are called for so as a church all the services on sunday morning is good praise the lord but that's only one thing but the other side of the coin is go out go out so that's the second shift that's the what was the shift number one was the power shift and number two was the priority shift and number three there should be a program shift last sunday evening we had a program here okay if you call it a program we had a program and the program was so jubilant okay a lot of joy was there a lot of the family belonging was there a lot of fun was there a lot of joy was actually very much evident here okay and even the ones who watched us online from many other nations they called me and said hey we could sense that joy there we want we could we really want to visit your church when we come next time to india okay so you are welcome come so remember the joy so that was a program but the shift should be from events to relationships from events we need a program shift to relationships okay last uh, sunday we had the joyous occasion and on tuesday we had a evening we, we met here again uh, for the farewell of uh, brother albert and jessica and uh, we had some feedbacks especially some of the young people also were there so they were sharing their experience okay what did they feel and what they felt to us they very much uh, felt that now that the, the the barrier is gone all the gap is not there anymore so we are one family praise the lord for that the the youth the children could connect to the family of god they said hey this is my family okay and especially in the last weeks you might have noticed that uh, we kind of uh, commission the children to go and pray for people and things like that so they feel yes this is our this is our family this is our family so that they can boldly go and minister if the lord wants them to minister they will minister okay they have the uh, not only the courage okay they have been legitimized okay by the church to do things not to do the wrong things okay you are only by the way young people i want to tell you we prayed and commissioned you for the right things okay <laughs> for the good things not to the bad things or the wrong things okay don't think that the, we have the license pastor has given us the license to do anything no pastor didn't give you the right license to do anything so be careful i will come with the stick okay sometimes <laughs> i have to tell you that so sir it's all about relationships it's relationship and what is the key for relationships love love did you notice that uh, jessica who was here for 6 weeks this young girl will come and tightly hug you some of you not all of you some of you what did you what how did you feel i was asking and many came and said one auntie came and cried and told me my children never have done this to me i have grandchildren they have never done this to me but a girl from another continent came and every time she came she will run to me and hug me and keep me in her arms like this so yesterday evening i was telling somebody all of us have love deficit what is that love deficit we need love we need love ee petrol undo nokunna meter car la endu ane parayne petrol gas fuel undo fuel gauge ha yeah. okay adu pole oru love gauge ivada undayirundeng ariyirunnu ee pani nokunna pole bp nokunna pole oru saanam ningade ingotta vechu nokkirundengi endum maatra ivada ivada ee sneham ennu orna tank sherikkum parney enne kaaliya air erikkya alle ഈ ഫുൾ ടാങ്ക് ഒരു കാറിൽ പെട്രോൾ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒരു സ്കൂട്ടറേരം വന്ന് പക്ഷെ ഒരു കുപ്പി പെട്രോൾ തരാൻ എൻ്റെ വണ്ടി വഴിയിലായിപ്പോയെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ കൊടുക്കാം ഇത് ഏറെ അറിയിക്കുന്ന ഞാൻ എന്തോ കൊടുക്കാനാ ഇതാണ് ഇന്നത്തെ പ്രശ്നം എവ്രി വൺ ഹാവ് ദിസ് ലവ് ഡെഫിസിറ്റ് വി നീഡ് ലവ് വി എക്സ്പെക്ട് ലവ് സംടൈംസ് വി ഈവൻ ഡിമാൻഡ് ലവ് ചില 
ചില ഓഡ് ബിഹേവിയർ ചിലരുടെ കാണുമ്പോൾ അറിയാം ദിസ് ഇസ് നത്തിങ് എൽസ് ദേ ആർ ജസ്റ്റ് ക്രൈങ് ഔട്ട് പ്ലീസ് ലവ് മീ ലവ് മീ സമ്മൺ ലവ് മീ പ്ലീസ് അതിനാണ് ഈ കോക്കാമ്പിച്ചൊക്കെ കാണിക്കുന്നത് അല്ലേ അത് സ്പിരിച്വലി ചിലർ കാണിക്കാറുണ്ട് അങ്ങനെയൊക്കെ അല്ലേ അപ്പം ഇതൊക്കെ കാണിക്കുന്നത് ദർ ഇസ് എ ലവ് ഡെഫിസിറ്റ് നിങ്ങളുടെ എല്ലാവരും നോട്ടം കണ്ടപ്പോൾ ഒരു കാര്യം മനസ്സിലായി എവിടെയോ ഇത് ചെന്ന് തറയ്ക്കുന്നുണ്ട് കേട്ടോ ഈ പറയുന്ന എനിക്കുൾപ്പെടെ നമുക്കെല്ലാം സ്നേഹമാണ് വി ഓൾ നീഡ് ലവ് വി ഓൾ നീഡ് ലവ് ഓക്കെ അത് എവിടെ പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ലവ് നമുക്ക് എവിടെ നിന്നേ കിട്ടത്തുള്ളൂ മേ ബി നോട്ട് ഫ്രം അവർ സ്പൗസസ് മേ ബി നോട്ട് ഫ്രം അവർ ഈവൻ അവർ പേരൻസ് മേ ബി നോട്ട് ഫ്രം അവർ സിബ്ലിങ്സ് മേ നോട്ട് ഫ്രം അവർ ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് ഓക്കെ ബട്ട് പെർഫെക്റ്റ് ലവ് ഇറ്റ് കം ഫ്രം എ ഭാവ് അല്ലേ നേരത്തെ നമ്മൾ പാടിയ പാട്ട് വാട്ട് വാർ വി സിംഗിങ് ആക്ച്വലി അബൌട്ട് ദ ലവ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ലവ് ഗാഡ് ഇസ് വില്ലിങ് ടു ഗിവ് ദാറ്റ് ലവ് ഇൻ ടു യുവർ ഹാർട്ട്സ് ദാറ്റ്സ് വൈ റോമൻസ് പോൾ സെയ്സ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഗാഡ് ഹാസ് ബ്രോഡ് ഗാഡ്സ് ലവ് ഇൻ ടു ഹാർട്ട്സ് സോ ദാറ്റ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ലവ് വി ക്യാൻ ലവ് അതേഴ്സ് വെൻ അവർ ലവ് ടാങ്ക് ഇസ് ഫുൾ വി വിൽ ബി വെരി ഹാപ്പി ടു ഗിവ് ഇറ്റ് ടു അതേഴ്സ് മെനി ടൈംസ് ഓക്കെ വെൻ വി സി the people who really are longing for love we really want to give but petta nokkitana chillara illa ennu paranjal endu illa sneham illa i really want to love you but uh, sorry i don't have stock ivide illa so we need to half tank eppozhum full aaki vechekanam so come to god's presence as we heard david actually was a man who will always come to the presence of god and he will receive receive he will say he is a worshipper so through worship actually there was a transaction happening not only he was worshiping giving to god god was rewarding him back with his love so that he was so full of god's love that's why most of the psalms he says i will bless the lord with all my heart okay so that is worship so many times we are not even to love god back why because we are not first received his love god first loved us while we were sinners so this morning i want to encourage all of us we have this love deficit so it's not the programs anymore it's the relationship we need in the church that alone should draw people to the church it's not the good music on the nice sermons or the nice ambience no it is the love of god which is seen in the family of god should attract the people of the world hey how come how can they love like that how come they can love like that and i am a very unlovable person i never get love in my family i am hated by everyone but these people look okay, unconditionally they love me that should be the testimony of the church did you get the point that should be the testimony of the church so this program shift john 13 i'll read a verse you may be wondering pastor you are talking and talking and talking but you're not even referring a verse from the bible okay let's come to the bible john chapter 13 verse 34 and 35 john chapter 13 1 3 34 and 35 what did jesus say he said by your love a new command i give to you yes you can read from that a new command i give to you what is that new command love one another So this morning what is the message from the church now love one another what is jesus telling to his church today morning love one another yes it is the same jesus who said love your god love your god with all your heart with all your mind with all your strength love your god yes that number one at the same time number two is not inferior than one no it's like this both the sides of the same coin if you love god you have to love one another and uh, with what kind of love as i have loved you so you must love one another so has he loved us yes he loved us and gave himself for us so because he has loved us and received that love definitely we need to love one another and then the next words very important 35th words it says uh 35th words by this okay by what by what by your love for one another everyone everyone in this world will know that you are my disciples if you love one another so we can only by known by the world as christians only by our loving one another 
not by the way we dress not by the way we sometimes act as christians no even not by the way we conduct ourselves in the church on a sunday morning no it's our love it's our love toward each other that proclaims that declares that advertises okay you don't have to advertise about your church it's the love that we have for one another will itself advertise to the whole world that we are christians we are children of god okay so we need a program shift from events to relationship did you get the point a program shift and then i'll stop here a world view shift is needed yesterday evening in the weekend service i told that what was that we need a world view shift also what is this world view shift we are all very happy with the church whether you like it or not okay we are all part of the church and many times we just need a church that's for some reasons we need a church at least for our burial we need a church <laughs> if you are young or maybe you have young children okay where will my son or daughter get married that's <laughs> the concern of the parents and also some young people also where will like decently get married <laughs> this is one thing recently i was invited to conduct a marriage they were telling we need a decent marriage so that's why we are inviting you pandarathu ingi enikku ishtapatta ana kettappam i got irritated actually what are you meaning by decent marriage thank god i didn't conduct that marriage <laughs> it's not for a decent marriage it's not even for a decent burial we need a church we need a home church we call it a ho- local church or whatever but remember more than the church we should have the kingdom mentality what is that god is building his church in other words to be very specific jesus is building his church which is an extension of the kingdom of god in every locality god's church is not particularly one denomination or even one nationalistic group it's not okay can i tell you a secret it's not even malayalis okay <laughs> some people say that uh, only malayalis will be in heaven no the thing is okay the greatest surprise that you're going to get it when you get to heaven you will see a lot of people whom you never expected there and the surprise is okay you will not see some people who expected you whom you expected to be there and the third things you will be so surprised that you are there <laughs> finally you made it i don't know whether is that negative or positive statement but at least for some you will be surprised how are you going to get it should you get the sorrow or not no we have the confidence if you are a child of god we are so sure paul was so sure all the apostles were so sure so as a child of god you should be so sure i'm not talking to the senior saints alone <laughs> people think after 70 you need to make sure that nammala sanna praaya ullore rey chennittu adava marichu poyal engotta pone nu orappundo this is not the question that we need to ask to the people who are above 17 no we should be asking this question to each one of us every day okay if anything happens will i be there if i close my eyes here where will i open my eyes that's a reality that's a reality so the world view shift is from church to kingdom and what is the key unity unity so out of every nation and out of every cultural background okay god is drawing people to himself and they sometimes meet as small local churches in every places but there are all kinds of churches which cater to the needs of different people there are a lot of different kind of people <clears throat> ethnos the, the the right word is ethnos ethnic community it simply means people groups <clears throat> there are around 16000 people groups in the world out of that more than 3000 is in india and uh, many of these people groups are not even reached with the gospel even in our city there are people groups who are not reached so for them definitely we need to reach out and different people groups can be uh, <clears throat> reached out only through different people or different groups different churches different kind of ministries so that as a true church of god we should turn from competitiveness sometimes okay we are so competitive when one church does something all the other churches want the same 
and especially in tamil nadu that's a <laughs> competition always i've seen if one pastor does something all this other pastors will copy the same thing mundi madurayil or pastor sonnaar enaga or pastor na or scorpio venum every pastor should own a scorpio scorpio ipasana illa so it is a brand of a pastor a successful pastor will own a peranade or orphanage irukano a pastor should have an orphanage orphanage for the church okay after some time penana or bible college irukano seri so if you have a orphanage and if you have a bible college and if pastor you drive a scorpio that is the key <laughs> so everyone want to copy no don't copy anything you are so unique okay you have your gifting is unique your calling is unique your position and placement in the society or in the city is very unique okay your sphere of influence may be so different from the others so that's why i want to tell everyone not only from this church okay anyone who is hearing i know a lot of pastors are hearing us maybe not on a sunday morning but later they hear and they call me and say hey pastor we are blessed by what you said i am telling you pastors men of god everyone has a ministry so let's stop this competitiveness and then instead we'll start cooperation let us cooperate so that we will see the task of reaching our cities accomplished more quickly we can reach out to this nation and we can do the job more quickly so for that what we need is we need the kingdom mentality can you say that kingdom mentality so most of us have the church mentality which church do you go come to our church your church my church nobody's church is jesus church <laughs> i say a simple thing when i say this is my pen what does that mean it is not yours so if you say my church that is not then jesus church <laughs> so be very careful it's jesus church okay we are part of his church so we should have this kingdom mentality that see the church in the world as a body comprised of many local churches all working together for god's purposes so through all the churches what should be accomplished god's purposes god's purposes so we should definitely be able to network with other churches with other ministries okay so that sometimes even we may have to have combined events long back you remember the old people in this church will remember we always used to combine with a lot of things in this city the global day of prayer so nice you will remember that global day of prayer we all got to the putrikandam maidan and evening we had a global day of prayer and that sunday morning we hired the university senator and around 2000 people from all similar churches we were all there around 11 churches we came together and we had a beautiful time of worship from all the church worship teams came together and they worshiped led the worship and finally the best part was we had the communion we had the communion for all the believers all the pastors came and they served the communion to all the believers that was a beautiful thing which happened in 2008 praise the lord for that that was a combined event okay that is a combined event that is beautiful i really long for such things happening but after some time i took a break and <laughs> i withdrew i don't know why okay why am i doing all these things okay so god willing if the lord tarries to come we should be doing all these things get all the other men of god in the city get all the ministers okay and let's have some combined events also let's have some combined events also and also especially church people especially who are in leadership i want to tell you even the ones who are hearing us from other churches we should have a heart to learn and receive from other churches and ministries did you get the point as a pastor as a leader maybe you are a leader in some ministry remember you always should have a heart to learn and receive from other ministries don't think that only it is you who are doing the ministry in the right way no you are doing a ministry praise the lord for that but you can better do that ministry or do it in a better way only thing is you need to learn from others also so be willing to learn from other ministries and for that what is needed is humility what is that humility so let's be humble to receive from others also and also we should always have maintain that humble attitude 
so that we can receive and we should value diversity diversity what is that word diversity like do you know that our god is a god of variety have you been to a rubber estate have you been to a tea estate all the trees are on the row because someone planted it but have you gone to a forest and do you ever see the trees in a row <laughs> only in a plantation you will see in a row and the beauty ningal rubber estate kandittu enikku angu kodi theerunnilla naralum parannittundo ella estate rubber oru pole irikkunnu ella theyile thotta ara aasami poi nokkiyalum ivide moonari poi nokkiyalum ella oru pole irikkunnu but look at the forest how different it is like if you go to maybe in africa it's different if you go in kerala okay inside it's different anyway a forest is really a beautiful place and why is it because there is variety variety how many believe in the kingdom of god there is variety in ministries there is variety even in church there is variety there is variety there is variety so in other words diversity that's the right word diversity so and when you see the diversity please seek to include others rather than becoming exclusive or isolated many times we do the mistake of church leaders we become very exclusive very exclusive i want to hate that word exclusive especially in the terms of a church you cannot be exclusive i know some congregation they are very exclusive the people of the same category same caste same color sometimes same ancient traditional christian background <laughs> they don't want anyone else okay no no the church of god has variety can you say an amen can you say an amen to that okay so so that we are not supposed to be exclusive or even isolated and also we should discern we should be willing to discern the fruit of this uh, of other ministries we should sometimes we may look at a ministry or a church and we may not like the way they are doing the ministry sometimes okay it it is you may have questions about that ministry but please wait don't pass any judgment wait that there will be a fruit there which you may not even not see there are ministries who work among the lepers there there are there are churches in leper colonies okay there are people there are churches who uh, minister to the needs of transgenders yesterday someone went to buy the application form in a reputed school in trivandrum and in that the column male female transgender oh this person got a shock idu tiruvananthapuram school inde peru naan parayunnilla one of the reputed christian school male is your child male female or transgender okay don't get shocked this is the reality which is happening outside so my question is is the church only for males and females and some of you don't even know to pronounce that word <laughs> the world is running after a lot of crazy things sometimes some things which we cannot even approve or agree that is another thing but my question is if that is a human being if it is a living human being for him jesus has already paid the price and god doesn't want that him or her also not to perish but should have everlasting life by my question is who will go and minister to such person for a, especially for a transgender who will minister who will minister yesterday i was telling somebody these days i see sometimes in this building alone there is a lot of businesses here. down there there is a supermarket and there are some this is in the same floor and the staff of these this or establishments or whatever they are quietly coming to some of our people and asking for prayer and they are coming for counseling they are and i was so happy that is the fruit okay they may not walk into the church right away like that they may be having sometimes a nettil uttri channa ittu kanum uttri charadu kitti kanum kaiyilakke but they need jesus and jesus has died for them also but the thing is okay how will they know about the love of jesus how will they know about the love of jesus so that's what i said we need to appreciate the variety there is there the diversity and there should be diverse ministries also sometimes okay 
for example if you drive in the city if you sometimes in pattan junction nowadays pattan is not seen but other junctions i saw even last week these rajasthani girls or women they come and try to sell you something <laughs> rajasthani with the skirt and all they will come with a, always they will be have the head covered okay rajasthanis okay and they are trying to they may sometimes irritate you sometimes because you are busy driving here on the signal and suddenly sir <laughs> you will get irritated but remember while you are getting irritated that is a precious soul did you get that you may not be able to buy something from her or maybe sometimes give something at least can you say a word of prayer god i pray for this sister okay she is your creation okay she is a precious creation maybe she was born in rajasthani she is uh, sleeps in the street but she is a precious creation of god can you say amen to that so who else will pray for her she may not have a rajasthani pastor to pray for her but you and god has sent you to you to just so that you will see her face that is a there is a person living in this world right now a rajasthani a poor girl who is begging for money or something but can you just bless her can you say a blessing on her can you do that so think of think things like this okay there are a variety of ministry that we can do so don't place judgment on ministries which are doing ministries not the way sometimes you and me are doing but please be patient to see the fruit of the ministries that they do so never place judgment and also i want lastly i want to say something as uh, children of god please don't give here to rumors or gossips about other ministries ministers especially pastors prophets other ministries which you may not even like that's okay they are not doing the ministry for you you may not like the certain way the certain people do ministry certain way the churches behave certain pastor style or something like that don't pass a judgment don't criticize them okay don't gossip don't pass any rumors okay if at all you you are you are very much aware that uh, something is wrong with someone's ministry or okay pray if you have access to that person prayerfully go and talk privately to the person otherwise you can keep praying okay bring your concerns to the lord in prayer and at the same time bless that man or woman or that ministry or church or whatever can you say amen to that that's the right way to do that so you should be a point of blessing so that you will be blessing other churches okay as house of prayer we are not against any church in the city okay we bless every church we bless every congregation we bless every pastor every man and woman of god who is ministering okay we bless them we bless them that should be your attitude so what is the shift here from church to kingdom mentality that's the mentality that we should be having i'm stopping here so what all will be today i think we heard a lot of things starting from david we heard a lot of things what are the six points amit said about david number one <laughs> okay good 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 at least some are trying to say that great great so god has already spoken to us god has already spoken to us so now what do we do my key point was actually family born into a family to restore and grow the fam- father's family as a corporate family as well as restoring individual families to reflect god's design and blessing in wholeness and freedom every family should walk in wholeness and the every family should walk in freedom because god has called us for freedom and we have received the spirit of freedom okay but sad to say many times we don't walk in that freedom and one of the way to release get released into that freedom is actually by just coming into the presence of god and unashamedly worship team come here i want to ask you something okay what did we learn last week about worship some of the praises the halal praise we only know halal chicken <laughs> if you say halal praise everybody know hello halal chicken everyone knows <laughs> what are the two praises which we learned last sunday halal and tehila and what was the second praise ashish you know better to be clamorously 
not glamorously foolish okay glamorously what is this glamorously foolish edu theriyan pattiya saanangal onnum illa i'll show you to be glamorously foolish please forgive me please forgive me to be glamorously foolish is that is a simple meaning of that term how many are ready to be glamorously foolish okay come what happened to you you were all sitting on this <laughs> chair and there was so much did i preach that well there was you were so enjoying my sermon it seems avare kore nerade njan varan pilikkunna aru varunnilla maybe they are ashamed no i don't think so <laughs> come this is yeah. so we are going to be glamorously foolish in other words we are going to say lord thank you for the joy that you have put in our hearts but many times we are so decent <laughs> that and nice so that we don't want to release that joy if we don't know to release that joy in the presence of god lord where will we release that presence last week the youth and children were jumping and dancing but people were asking me we are happy that they are jumping in the presence of god in the church or else they will start jumping outside so where do you want them to jump you where do you want them to jump so that they can be themselves okay 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 can we can we say lord thank you for the love can we say thank you for the love i want all of you to open your mouth and say lord thank you for the love that you loved us with lord i'm so thankful for the love thankful for the love hallelujah hallelujah young people get up get up and come to the front young people get up and come to the front okay don't stay there come to the front come to the front come to the front hallelujah
in the presence of God there is joy the joy of the lord is my strength said nehemiah can you say that the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord is my strength the joy of the lord makes me strong hallelujah many times we are sick many times we are weak why it's not the insulin level it's not the other level either no it is the joy of the lord is missing sometimes the joy is there but it is all bottled up bottled up okay release it release it let the joy come out okay first the joy come out on our face with a smile okay okay can we at least smile can we see a good smile while the joy is there you cannot be the joy of the lord is my strength no 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 it should come out on a smile okay then the joy of salvation the joy of salvation david only when he sinned he has to pray that prayer lord give me back the joy of salvation so if you don't have the joy of salvation check yourself maybe you are living in sin otherwise no reason for no reason not to be joy the third thing righteousness peace joy in the holy ghost joy in the holy ghost so the joy of the lord the joy of salvation joy in the holy spirit that's what that's a the triple lockdown on the whole triple blessing and the joy of the lord yehovengile santosham the joy of salvation retired santosham parishuddhaatmavil santosham all these three things belongs to the believers alone alle namakkalla adu vera aarka it's not to the world it's not to the korean band okay it's the, for the children of god it's for the children of god hey itrayam parnittu ini you are not excited okay come forward come forward come forward hallelujah we are going to close we are going to close we are going to close hallelujah come 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 while 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 we are while we are joyfully joyfully praising god while we are joyfully praising the lord even though we are joyfully praising young people children i want you to do something while you are joyfully not jump here and dance no you joyfully sing and joyfully go and pray for the families here pray for the families here boldly go and pray for the families yeah 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 and also elders you also can do the same thing yeah not to your family okay go to some other family and pray for them bless them bless them bless them so that the lord will impart the joy impart the joy the joy and the gladness the lord will impart sometimes through you go ahead go ahead the youth of this church go 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 oh those who are spirit filled go go hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord blessed be the name of the lord the most high Just run
happening here you may sometimes okay to some it may sound foolish i don't know some will think it's nonsense sometimes it may not mean anything to you but it is a prophetic declarance i will cause the heart of the fathers toward the heart of the sons and i will cause the heart of the sons toward the heart of the fathers that is what is happening here it is a prophetic declaration of what is happening here so fathers mothers we want your heart also to be turned toward the children the next generation so that they both they will come together they will not compete with each other they will complement they will cooperate and they will unite and together they will lift up the name of god at the same time they will proclaim the proclaim the goodness of god to all generations and to all people group